have been many feuds in the Street Fighter universe that we have encountered over the years. We have seen the feud of Chun-Li and Juri Han, both with different motives and different paths in life. But the most interesting feud in the whole Street Fighter series is the feud between Goken and Akuma. What is their story? What are the origins of their eternal rivalry? In this episode, we will narrow down important key points of their involvement with the Street Fighter series. We will also describe the relationship between Ryu and them. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. The official backstory of Akuma reveals that both brothers were students of Godetsu, a practitioner of the violent arts whose origins stem from Japan's feudal era, known as one of the only people capable of using the Satsui no Hado. Without falling into its deeper aspects, Godetsu was a master of martial arts of Goken and Akuma. Godetsu was skilled in both Anatsuken and Bochutsu, and possessed the secret arsenal techniques he had kept hidden away from his students. Goken and Akuma learned from Godetsu's techniques. Their fighting styles and methods gradually diverged as the two brothers developed different fighting styles. The more Akuma embraced and mastered the killing and dart aspects of the art, the more he succumbed into the Satsui no Hado, or the surge of murderous intent, and wanted to fully utilize it to gain more power and influence. Goken, in contrast, developed his own style of the art, removing the Satsui no Hado, turning weapons such as the Hadoken and Shoryuken into tools for self-defense, eliminating their killing potential. As a result of succumbing into the Satsui no Hado, Akuma battled and killed Gotetsu for failing to embrace the Satsui no Hado to its full extent. He also left behind his master Dojo and brother to train alone for even greater gains. Prior to Gotetsu's death, Goken found and adopted Ryu, an abandoned orphan. Then Hibiki would later become Goken's first student. Nevertheless, Goken discovered from Dan that he wanted to learn this martial art for revenge and rejected him for his intentions, fearing that his grudges would lead him on a dark path. Later, a young man, Ken Masters, was sent by his father, a good friend of Goken, to study humility, respect, and discipline. His father, a rich hotel tycoon owner, thought that his son needed to learn about discipline, or his son would become a spoiled brat all of his life and try to leech onto the Masters' family fortune. Akuma appeared at Goken's dojo, after Goken had begun to train the boys, Goken was challenged to a fight by Akuma. While Goken had soundly defeated Akuma, the brother spared him even after Akuma insisted he should be killed. After Akuma's arrival and departure, Goken continued to train the two boys. Over the years, Goken's student grew as individuals, and his two students graduated from his tutelage, becoming proficient enough to leave the dojo and travel the world, to acquire new skills and become better. Afterwards, Akuma reappeared at Goken's dojo and challenged his brother to a rematch. Akuma emerged victorious with a Shun Gokusatsu, allegedly killing Goken in the act. Despite this, Goken was only left in a deep coma due to a similar technique Gen uses, which emptied his soul of emotions. Due to his lengthy period of unconsciousness, Ryu and Ken believed their master had died and buried his body. In Street Fighter 4, when Goken awakens two years later, he leaves his dojo and follow his students, delighted by their achievements. In order to test their strength, he decided to enter the new SIN tournament rather than just watch them. Following Seth's defeat, Goken successfully finds Ryu and seals the Satsui no Hado, so Ryu never has to suffer with the power again. After Goken had completed his task, Akuma appeared. Soiled with bitterness, Akuma convinced himself he would no longer be able to fight Ryu. Akuma realizes that the power Goken used to seal it was the power of nothingness. The power of nothingness is a state of consciousness transcending ordinary perspective, born through spiritual and mental refinement, bearing common traits with state of being within Buddhism, martial arts, and spiritual perfection, it is the power to act without being attached to emotions and thought, free of fear, anger, pride, and ego, to draw upon the contents of one's heart intuitively without obstacle and hesitation, and to be aware of the world and to know one's place and meaning within its vastness, to flow with all of creation without the need of worry, desire, and doubt. It is the complete opposite of the Satsui no Hado. As such, it can only be used by a person of pure mind, compassion, mercy, and peace. Such a person must have embraced the peaceful and spiritual aspect of the art to their fullest extent. Just like the Satsui no Hado, it makes a person unbelievably powerful, granting invincibility, spiritually and physically, to many attacks, as well as sealing off evil power and making the user a stronger fighter. 
The brothers then face off in another rematch, with Ryuzu's fate at stake, and Jen watching the fight in amazement. The exact outcome of the fight is unknown, though it is known that both survive, and that Ryu does not go to Akuma, so it could possibly be implied that Goken may have won. Ryu and Ken ask Goken to stay with them a while, but Goken tells them that they are both grown men and no longer need a master. Goken and Akuma's rivalry is just based on the principles of how a martial art should or should not be used. Each of their paths represent a symbolic significance to our daily lives. We have two choices to make. Either we as people learn how to manage ourselves in a positive manner, or we have the option to totally be consumed by the dark aspects of what surrounds humanity. So what did you like about the story between Akuma and Goken? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. We want to invite you to our new Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.